Okay, today we have my two um, Chinese elm here. Um, that I usually bring, I have been bringing in because they came from warmer climates, so I don't know how they would take to being outside. And I have killed two Chinese elms cold winter, so. I just kind of keep it inside. Keep I let them get a little bit of cold, go dormant, and then I bring them in. Um, we'll work on this is the the grafted one. We'll work on that one first. Okay, so basically all this needs is just to trim up, uh, get some dead stuff off. Um, this this graft, the first one, looks like it's getting where it's starting to fuse. The second one is not so far along. You can still see a gap there. It's not, I mean, it's swelled up, but it's not a, uh, it's not as swollen as this is yet. It hasn't really swollen, started swelling up, but it's still alive, so we'll work on that. I'm just going to start clipping stuff back. Now this ended up growing up through here, so it kind of is in an awkward place now. Um, this I had been keeping to to thicken up the base, but I think it's going to start thickening it up wrong. It's a little high now. I'm just going to take that off now. Trim that up. Um, this I don't even need because this is growing on the back of this uh, this graft, so I don't really need that. Same with here, I don't need that. And I'll leave the one back here in case for some reason we needed that branch. Um, we're just going to start clipping. This branch will be a branch I'm keeping. Just going to trim some of this stuff back. Um, this needs to be clipped back somewhere here. I'm going to clip this back to there. Actually, I'm going to clip back to there. That one's moving the right way. Um, I'm going to get rid of this high piece. This piece going up. Um, Okay, this is another one that's growing on the back of a witch, and we'll call it, which is, is it in a place I need? No, I want to keep it in case I need the branch, so we'll just trim that back. This ended up with a little, some dead stuff on it this winter, so trim the dead parts off, trimming it back some. I think I'm just going to remove this because this is just growing up. It's not going to be any use if we were to use this branch, which these branches are probably going. So they should be going as long as those whatchamacallits work. Okay, back here on the, the thing. I don't want to really cut this as much because I want to keep this growing good to help the whatchamacallit. I'm just going to get rid of mostly dead stuff on these. Because these, this is where we want the most of the growth going is the the grafts. So this one I don't see any reason to clip back. This one just needs to be clipped back because it's getting a little out of control. Um, I'll clip that one back. Now I'll clip some dead stuff off here. Um, I'm going to take this off the inside here. We don't need that. Clean up some more dead pieces. These are just old cutting uh, stubs that I left. This is growing down. We don't need this. 
Okay, now we gotta just chop, cut the top back some. Um, that one's just, these are in wrong spots. They're not any good. We're not trying to develop the top that much right now, so I wanna keep it in check a bit. Mm. I cut that one back. Bunch of you cut off. Bigger things to cut those off. And actually, I got some dead stuff over here that I missed. I'm gonna actually bring this back. I wasn't going to, but now I am. Okay, so there's this one all trimmed up. Actually, this is the front. This will be the front eventually because this is supposed to be a back branch that I'm adding. Okay, here's my little cascade Chinese elm. Um, it didn't do so great over the winter, um, uh, but uh, it's come back pretty good since it's been out. We're just gonna, again, trim this one back. Um, mostly for like ramification and keeping it compact. We're looking for stuff that leads out of the tree, center of the tree for growth to cut back to. Okay, this is growing out the bottom. We don't need that. But we do, we're, we are starting to get a, a top to this tree now. Um, we didn't have much of the top. This was just a little tiny, a little tiny um, bud when I turned this over to a, uh, a graft. So it has grown pretty good in the last couple years. You know what? I'm going to take this one out. This is interfering with this other branch. This forward branch. So we'll just take that out altogether. Turn that off there. That's got a good one growing that way anyways. Trim that back to this outward facing one. I think I will remove this inside. This inside bud here. Down here we have the now we have the cascade to deal with. Um, the cascade was growing this way a bit better, and then it died off. Um, I will clip this stuff back. And just take some of these inside leaves off. Just to get them out of the way and clean the structure up a little bit. Now this side ain't too bad. Um, cut that back to this. Go back to this to here. This has come back quite well on this side. Okay, this is a little tiny branch inside what you don't need. So there is our cascade. I'm not sure which side is the front and it's going to need another wiring eventually, but I think I'll wait until the winter to wire 
to the fall of the wire because this needs to still needs to uh, it's coming down below the pot now I still like that side for the front something like maybe there okay here are two other um, Chinese elm I have they're a little different um, variety they got a little big they grow a little bigger leaves to them and uh, these I've had no trouble outside um, these I've left outside these have been outside well this one's been out two years and then well those have probably been out this is a thing and then I gave away some two other cuttings from this one to my group's auction um, I think we'll start with the big one Okay, here's the bigger one. Um, this has gotten eaten. Both of these got eaten up by uh, Japanese beetles this this uh, s s beginning of the summer. Um, they've bounced back in the few weeks since since then. I killed. I sprayed the for the beetles. I sprayed the beetles to kill them because they're an invasive species anyway. So the Japanese beetle. Okay, first thing I think I'm gonna do is this top's gonna go. We're gonna use this as the new leader. So, first I'll cut it here. I'll have to cut it in a couple stages because there's this and a branch that have to go. I might just leave it like that then to risk messing this up let this grow some um, and then come back and cl clean it up more um, because otherwise I could risk damaging this I've done that a couple times um, this we are going to clip back and we're going to actually um, wire this so it's not curving so much around the branch I mean around the trunk like it is. So. This wire back. Then I don't want to take the whole curve out of this branch. I just want I don't want it to like be wrapping around the branch the trunk like it was. And then we'll trim this back some. Um, we honestly don't need this. That's moving up. We got a branch out this side. I think we'll go off of that and we'll trot this back to there. Because most of that was growing up anyway, so it wasn't much use for us. So there's what we got left on this. The smaller one has much better movement in the trunk. There's a little bit of a movement in this trunk so um, I don't have to go out looking for some movement I'm not sure about this branch I'm gonna leave it for now and just trim it back um, I don't think it'll I'll use it in the end but you, I never know so I'm gonna trim it back to there um, This looks like it's healing fairly well. I might have to go back and clean it up later if it's too bulbous, this old wound, but we're gonna leave it for now. We're gonna cut this low branch off here. Um, we're gonna, no, we're gonna leave that. Just gonna trim it back. I think we're gonna remove this one. This one kind of goes down too much. For my taste and this one is just in the wrong place get rid of these lower ones on this side and 
Yeah, I like that as the front. And I do think I'm just gonna remove this. We're gonna, this is too low for what we're doing. This will be too low anyways. So we'll just remove that. Um, this side, I think I'll clip it to this. I'm gonna clip this back to here. This back to here. And this back to here. So, like I said, that would probably be the front, I'm thinking. Um, well, that's a nice front too. So, we'll see. I'll rotate it to show what we did. Okay, I'm just adding this on to the, with the elms. It's a mulberry. Um, I got it at our club auction. Um, I don't want to do much with it except just clean up these cut points that somebody else took. I got it for a dollar because nobody wanted it. Um, I, it was kind of like the charity, the charity, uh, the charity bid. I just bid on it because nobody else did. And I've kind of wanted a mulberry before. Um, but never got around to getting one. So now I have a mulberry. Um, we're just going to try to clean up this dead, these dead stubs for one. Which have kind of started to rot out a bit, it seems. Awesome fresh. Points to heal. That should heal that. That should heal up nicely there. This one shouldn't be as much of a problem. side I gotta get down to some alive something live to so it'll heal over I'm gonna take I need both these branches I'm gonna take that branch off then this needs to come off There's a little big dead spot down this. Which makes sense. There's nothing growing there, so. There we go, now we got, it's not the best wound, but it'll heal up over time and should be fine. Um, but it's got, all the sides have got living tissue, so we should be good on that. Now up here, I believe I'm gonna take, we got two here, I'm gonna take this off. Seeing we got this growing over here, let this grow this way. This will be the new leader. I'm gonna take this little branch down here off. And then I'll put I'll put some wounds some uh, sealant on those wounds, seeing they're pretty big. Um, once I'm done with this, so there's the mulberry. Just added in because I didn't have nowhere else to put it, and I knew it wasn't going to be couldn't be its own video. It's too short. So if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you next time.